Hi everyone, welcome back for another whiskey review. Today we're looking at the Ben Riach Cast Strength Batch 2. Now, quite an interesting whiskey. Retails for about $105, $100 in New Zealand, which makes it phenomenal value. And you'll find out in a minute why. Bottled at a very generous cast strength of 60.6%. So you're technically getting a bottle and a half if you look at it, you know, your normal commercial releases from Johnny Walker or some of the other big single malt companies are 40%. So very generous ABV. Um, I believe it is relatively young whiskey, maybe seven to eight years old. Again, another one of my bottles left over from a tasting night. But if you look at the color in there, natural, natural color. No added color in there, and obviously not your filtration, being bottled at cast strength. Something quite unique for Ben Riach, um, the whiskey has been aged simultaneously, all batches of it, in a brand new oak cask, an ex-bourbon cask, and sherry cask. And then all of the whiskey is brought together, or you can say been married together, to be released as this particular um, small batch release. So they put it out into the market, just to see what happens, because obviously Ben Riach does the normal 12 and the 15 um, and some of the other age stated stuff, uh, 22 year old and all that kind of stuff. So this is a bit of a mad experiment where they would have married a certain number of barrels and just put it out into the market, see what happens. And we basically have this whiskey here. Not very really deep in color, but obviously for a natural color, you can tell it's got a lot more color than even a 12 or 15 year old Scotch whiskey, sometimes uh, bottled at 40, 43%. But that color would have been picked up from the uh, sherry cask. So let's see what's happening in here. So I've actually have tried this whiskey a couple of times before, and it's always been a big favorite of mine. And the people who I was with at the time were quite blown away by it. But that could have been just the ABV as well. You know, you put a high alcohol whiskey into someone's glass. By the time they finish drinking it, they're quite happy because that's the alcohol talking as well. But with this one, the flavors are in there. It is a good whiskey for the money. Well, we'll see. Wow. Spices straight away on the nose. Mmm. You're made with a bit of a honey and a blend of spice. Is that cinnamon? A little bit of sort of caramel or toffee kind of character as well. There's quite a like a mature sweetness to it um, on the nose. What's unique is, even though it's so high in the ABV, um, it's not kind of hitting my nose. Um, and then just a slightest hint of ginger. I mean, it is at a very high ABV, so if you're gonna put your nose deep in there, you're gonna take a deep breath, <laughs> the alcohol vapors will hurt you. But um, if we just take a, so we're passing nosing. Oh, it's just so beautiful. It's going to be so sad when it goes. But a nutty character as well. Wow. I, I can't get over the fact how cheap it is. I know $100, $105, $110 is a lot of money. But this is phenomenal value. And if you can get your hands on some, buy up some extra bottles and Hey, being at 60%, you're looking at it as, about, as a $75 bottle. You do not get such good single malt scotch at $75 Kiwi dollars anyway. Um, let's get in there. <laughs> There's a wave of spices. Same in the nose. It's lingering. It's very high in ABV. 
so it's making me drool. Your palate kind of comes under attack. Spice, spice, spice. Still lots of spice. A little bit of sweetness on the front of the palate. Say so something for you at home, and this is my analogy um, from trying whiskeys over the years, is if you're met with um, intense spice or smoky character, it'd be towards the back of your palate. And if you're finding sweetness, it'd be towards the front of your tongue or the tip of your tongue, or you could say towards the front of the palate. So for me, it is still sitting quite heavily towards the back of the palate. The spice is driving it. Um, Mm. Feels quite creamy all of a sudden. Or oily, you could say. Sweetness is coming through, that rich sweetness. Bit of caramel. I mean, it's just all over my palate right now. <laughs> there is no escaping it. And the finish on it is very long. Um, there's a reason why I'm in love with it. Um, also the reason why I've used it in my tastings the last couple of times. It's been a crowd pleaser, especially when you tell them the retail on it. So it doesn't say anywhere um, how many bottles were released. And I tried to look online, didn't say um, what sort of um, release it is. I would imagine it being several thousand, especially at that kind of price point. Mm. Oh, it's just so good. And this year, I mean, it's still, in the past year, I've drunk some phenomenal Ben React whiskey, some amazing single cast drams, um, commercially released as well. None of them have disappointed me. Um, just been really, really good. All right. Thank you for watching. If you're liking the content, please like, share and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys for another whiskey review really, really soon. Bye.